Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. I'm Nobu. And today we are going to be watching the Hunger Games, like the first movie pitch meeting. So I'm doing another pitch meeting reactions because these these videos are just kind of like my new favorite thing on the internet. And we're trying to do some smaller stuff. Um, we just watched, we watched Hunger Games a while ago, but we just watched Maze Runner and I feel like there was kind of an era of, of YA novels that were in like the future. And then there was an era of adapting those YA novels. And I feel like Hunger Games was kind of a part of that. So mm -hmm. I thought it'd be kind of cool to go back and um, do the pitch meeting for that. This is just for the first movie. And then I think there's a separate pitch meeting for the sequels. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of excited. I really enjoyed the Hunger Games um, as a whole. I think the first movie was maybe my least favorite, but I'm still kind of, I don't know. I'm going in with a positive take on the movies to kind of see where, where this all goes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. As always, feel free to suggest any other like little videos you guys want us to watch, game trailers, movie trailers, pitch meetings, honest trailers. Let us know in the comments, and let's just get into the Hunger Games pitch meeting. All right, three, two, one. Have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's called The Hunger Games, and it's based on a book series where a bunch of kids are forced into, like, a battle royale to the death. Oh, that sounds a lot like that movie Battle Royale. No, it doesn't. Oh, okay, my bad. So basically, no, there are 12 districts, and a boy my and a bad. girl are chosen from each of them, and they have to go fight to the death in The Hunger Games. Why are they called The Hunger Games? Well, there's not really any food in the district, so by the way, the actors are going to have to look skinny and malnourished and, and well hungry. Not okay. At all okay, and would you settle for having beautiful, well-fed actors? that are in terrific shape. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Great. So anyway, the main girl, Katniss, gives her little Compromise. sister Primrose a pin, and she's like, nothing bad can happen to you when you have this. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, it is. So then Prim immediately gets her name chosen, and the death lottery <laughs> pin didn't work at all. Not even a little bit. So then Katniss steps up, and she's like, I volunteer as tribute, so my sister doesn't die. Very nice moment. Yes. Yeah, so then Primrose gives her the pin back, you know? She's like, looks like you're gonna need this. That pin that she just had the worst luck with, that's the one. I yeah. guess that's a nice moment. Moment. And then this guy, Peta, is also going to get chosen. Oh, and what's his deal? Well, he really likes Katniss, but so does this other guy, Gale. Wait, are you saying this is based on a popular book series and there's a teenage love triangle? That's yeah, right. Throw oh money my at god, it. we are so going to snatch up that Twilight crowd. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I love it. So anyway, then Katniss and Peta are going to meet their mentor, this guy, Hamish. Oh, and what's his deal? Well, he won the Hunger Games back in the day, and he's an alcoholic now. Oh, is that going to be problematic? No, he's just going to be an alcoholic in, like, the first scene. Oh, then he gets over it? Pretty much immediately. Yes. Well, good for him. Anyway, he tells okay. them that they need to be likable because sponsors can airdrop supplies during the game. Oh, interesting. So they get set up with this guy, Sinna, who's in charge of wardrobes and whatnot. Okay. And he's like, I think you guys should ride into the opening ceremony on fire. How does he plan on doing that? Well, he shows them this flame, right? And he's like, this isn't real fire and these suits are made so you won't feel a thing. Wait, so is it fake fire or is the suit <laughs> yeah, fire? <what? laughs> yeah, yeah. That set off yes. alarm bells well, in my okay. head. So then they have to train for the games and they meet all the other tributes from the other districts. Wow, it's going to be hard to deal with the emotionality of that, you know, meeting all these other kids that were chosen as tributes, knowing Katniss has to kill them. <laughs> Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, pretty much all the other tributes are straight up evil. Oh, they are? Yeah, they were raised to do the game, so they're real into murder. Not, wow, okay, that yeah, takes no. a lot of the pressure off of us having to deal with any ethical dilemmas. Exactly. Well, great, that sounds hard. So then they need to get evaluated and get the attention of the sponsors. Okay. So Katniss shoots the apple out of the mouth of a roast pig they're enjoying. They're within firing range of the tributes without any protection? That's right. Oh, very irresponsible. So anyway, then the Hunger Games start and Katniss to be runs fair, away I feel like real that's fast. Point, oh boy, yeah, it's gonna get nuts. Kids killing kids super violently. It's gotta be PG-13 though. Kids killing kids off screen with a lot of shaky cam. <laughs> there it is. Now the whole family can enjoy the child very smart. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to do. To these flamboyant announcers that are doing a play-by-play -play for a cheering Who, crowd. Kind of steal oh. the show. Yeah, you know, it's gonna really highlight how horrible these people are for getting enjoyment out of watching kids kill each other. Isn't that what people who come watch this movie are gonna be doing? Yeah, but that's different. <laughs> oh, so? Because we'll be oh, making oh, the Oh, okay, Shots so that makes fired. it good. Exactly. So what else happens? Well, at a certain point, Katniss wanders too far, and so the game masters force her back to the action by setting the forest on fire. Oh my god, isn't the forest fire gonna kill everyone? No, they just put it out once she ends up where they want her to be. They can instantly <laughs> put out fire? Yeah, because of vague technology. 
Oh, neat. <laughs> now we're gonna see that Peta joined an alliance of bad guys as a way to stay alive. Oh, they don't kill him? Well, they say they're only keeping him alive because it'll help them track down Katniss faster. They trust the guy that's in love with her that he's gonna help them find her? <laughs> that's what we're going with. So then they do find her and she climbs up a tree. So they climb up the tree too? No, the main guy Kato tries, but he falls. So does he, you know, try again? He does not and nobody else does either. <laughs> it's too oh, difficult. It's a motivation problem. strategies is tight. And then they try shooting arrows at her a couple of times, but that doesn't work either. So they change angles and, you know, try again. No, they give up on that too, right away. Oh, they give up on things so fast. Yeah, and so then they start a fire. Oh, that's very smart. They want to burn down the tree and kill Katniss. Yeah, no, they just start a fire so they can settle yeah, in for the night. Yeah, because PETA's like, guys, let's just go to bed and kill her in the morning. Don't they kill PETA? They said they were just using him to find Katniss. Yeah, no, they don't kill him. They listen to his idea. Wow. Anyways, so all the bad guys he becomes all their sleep, leader. Right? Oh, don't like anyone awake standing guard? They do not. And so Katniss manages to drop some crazy poison wasps on them, but she gets stung too. Oh, so what happens to her? Well, she passes out and wakes up a couple of days later being taken care of by this alive. little girl, Rue. Wait, so the Game Master started a forest fire because she was too far from the action, but then they let her sleep for several days? That's right. And what's up with the announcers? Do they just work 24 hours a day as all this stuff is happening? I don't know. Fair enough. <laughs> so anyway, then Katniss is going to blow up the enemy's food by shooting a bag of apples, which then fall on some mines. Oh, this girl loves shooting arrows at apples. Yeah, it's definitely the fruit that moves the plot forward the most in the movie. Wow. Apples and apples, and apples go Rue, well so together. Katniss kills him. It's going to be really sad. Yikes, two children dying. That's super sad. No, only one of the deaths is sad. The other child was a bad child. Oh, okay. So then Katniss finds Peta, and he's just perfectly camouflaged as a rock. What? How did he manage that? <laughs> well, he used to decorate cakes in a bakery, so... Did he decorate them as rocks? I guess so. Oh, very weird cake orders. <laughs> so then the Game Master's really like, good okay, shady. you know what? Two tributes can win if they're from the same district, because Katniss and Peta are pretending like they're in love. Okay. And then they release a bunch of violent dogs as, like, the finale, and Peta and Katniss manage to get them to kill Kato. Oh, so they win? Well, they have to threaten a double suicide with some berries first. Actually, <laughs> berries are very important, too, now that I think of it. What? What's going on? Well, they win. <laughs> That's great. And so what happens with Gale? <laughs> well, Ooh, they stay win. Tuned. Stay tuned? Yeah, this is a book series, remember? That's all gonna come later. Oh, wow, yeah. So how many books are there in this series? Three. Ah, uh, okay, that's too bad. What's wrong? Well, I was kind of hoping we'd get more than three movies out of this <laughs> maybe, franchise. Maybe like well, we could four. always go with the Twilight and Harry Potter strategy. <coughs> oh, yeah, very true. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. That was brutal, bro. That, there was a, that there was, was a, brutal. There was a few shots in there. That they were uh, they weren't just going for the movie. No, 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 no. No, no I like that. I, I like. I feel like that's where this series kind of thrives. Where it is like, okay, the two part, like, like just like there's a lot of obvious studio pandering. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, as no, these no, things course. go, and I feel like this is the perfect context for that. No, yeah, it's. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds funny. The the whole line about oh yeah, there are horrible people for watching these kids murder each other, and it's like <laughs> you're still watching it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, obviously, there's plot holes and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really have much to say as far as this 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 pitch meeting was like spot on, man. No, oh, yeah, <laughs> I like <laughs> I like the whole like idea of like you know. These bad guys are actually because you never really think about it, you know, all the time in the movie. In of any course, movie. Sometimes it does. Yeah. You do. It does come up if it's like overly like holy, you know. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, it it seems so obvious. Like after you point it out, you know. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah I feel like a fool for not noticing it. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. Why did they stop <laughs> <laughs> shooting Katniss? Or even just the fact that it's like the movie somehow finds and the books do this too. Somehow find a way to completely dehumanize the and not to say that they don't give the backstories but like you 100 percent are like yeah screw these random other children <laughs> kill all of them <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> because yeah. they're not my children that i'm rooting for well that's what <laughs> that, that's one thing that i wish was um they had i feel like they're that they a do a much better job of the books, like though yeah. to be fair okay okay they do a much better job of of, of actually delving into the ethics of it and i actually think that's that's one of the biggest drawbacks, and it may even be a medium drawback. And it's mm. been ages since I've read the books. That's true. But but um, I think some of it is a medium drawback as well because you can't get in their brains. And being able yeah. to get in the characters' heads and talk about thinking about how the other people look and some of the people are really, like, bloodthirsty and some of them aren't and kind of the whole, like, thought process behind that and the thought process behind 
being raised in this society where you do kind of have to kill and just be kind of brutal to survive and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I think that is a lot more difficult to because I feel like a lot of times in movies you have to be a little more subtle and things like that. Um, yeah, with certain things, and whereas like, yeah, when you're writing stuff, you can be a lot more. And I always think that was the the actually one of the reasons I don't hate the love triangle in this in this series. Like love triangles are a huge cliche, um, but I actually liked that. At least in the books, and I eh, they did a decent job of this in the movies. But in the books, they do a really good job of having like the two guys be almost like pulling Katniss in the different directions where like PETA is almost it, it is almost like annoyingly good and being like, no, but we can't kill this person and we can't do all these things. Whereas Gail uh, is very pragmatic and mm-hmm. very like, no, this is and, and, and as it goes, as the series goes on and it becomes more about war and the ethics of war and what you do and how do you get people to surrender and all this different kind of stuff, mm-hmm. you see Gail thrive. But then you're also like, is that a good thing? Is it not a good thing? Mm-hmm. And I think that's a cool way to like add weight to a love triangle. You know what I mean? So that it is like, okay, you know, when you are looking for somebody like to fall in love with, you want them to push you to be a better person. And I almost feel like in this love triangle, it's like, well, which direction should Katniss be kind of like encouraged in as a person? Yeah, that is kind of interesting. Um, Yeah. Yeah. I don't know though. Let us know what other uh, uh, like, pitch meetings you guys want us to do these are these are an absolute blast to react to and i hope you guys are enjoying these reactions as much as we are filming them and yeah uh i think that's pretty much it let us know what other stuff you guys want us to react to as always feel free to check out the other reactions on the channel we got some cool movie reactions hunger games maze runner and if you all do we will see you guys in the next video